Hello, my dear friends. Today, I want to share a story of a young boy called David. David was born in 1971. He was born with an SCID, which means severe combined autoimmune deficiency, because of which he had to live inside a bubble the whole time, as he was easily prone to infections. As a treatment, David went through a bone marrow transplant operation from his sister, whose bone marrow contained traces of a virus which was undetectable in the pre-transplant stage. Months later, David became ill with infectious mononucleosis and lost his life at the age of 12 in 1984. Does it not make you feel sad? A young boy at his age, who might have had many dreams, who might have wanted to live life to the fullest, but wasn't able to. Wasn't able to because he was born. He was born with a deficiency that didn't allow him to come in contact with his closed ones with the atmosphere around him. All he could do is stay in a bubble so that he was protected. Do you think he might not have dreams? Do you think if given a chance, he wouldn't want to run out into the open and love life and live his life? Of course he would. How many of us today are suffering from an SCID. Majority of us, I'd say. Most of us are blessed to live a life to the fullest, breathe the fresh air, face life's challenges, fall down, and be able to get back up on our two feet, conquer our inner fears. But how many of us actually do this? We get sad, we get afraid, we are scared, we get depressed. We are suffering from SCID mentally, if not physically. We have built a bubble around us to protect ourselves from the anger, hatred, violence, the negativity that surrounds us. We, as little kids, learn to live in this bubble where we feel protected unharmed, untouched. Yes, we would be safe in there. But would we be happy? Are we happy? Are we living our lives to the fullest? Are we seeking our dreams we once had? No. We have shut down ourselves and hidden our dreams along with us in that bubble, not allowing them to turn to reality restricting ourselves from soaring high just because of the fear of being yelled at, being let down, shamed by people around us, being hurt, being laughed at. I ask you, who are these people? Who are these people that we give so much importance to? And why do we give their opinions and views such leverage as to control our lives? Why should we care about their opinions? Because people will laugh at you even when you're at your best. Just because they are jealous or want to drag you down to their level. So, unless you don't ignore such people and turn a blind eye to them, you will never be able to get your inner child that you trapped in that bubble out in the open. Why would you do that to your inner child? Why would you want him or her to be trapped inside a bubble forever? Why would you be so mean to yourself? Many of us as kids have faced a lot. What the other might not be aware of. It's only that child inside of us that knows it all. As kids, we built these walls around us, this protection to keep us safe 
so no one or nothing can harm us. And no one but we ourselves have the power to get out of that bubble. We need to understand that nothing the others or the world can do to harm you could be worse than what you have been doing to yourself. Confining yourself to that bubble you built and limiting your access to life's gifts, not letting yourself feel. Remember, you are much stronger than you know. Give yourself a chance at life. Give your dreams that spark. It wants that, a space where it can grow and flourish. And that would happen only outside of your safe place. Only once you break the bars and get out of your comfort zone, will it be possible to dream big and make them come true. I understand there will be times you fail, that you would get hurt, but with the strength and ability that you have, you can get right up and continue and never stop. You will be amazed by the wonders and happiness that you have been depriving yourself of. All you need is yourself and a strong willpower to keep going no matter what. Go ahead, burst that bubble, live your life and make mistakes if you like. Learn from them, build yourself up, make yourself strong, strong enough to listen, to understand and to ignore the insignificant people in their comments. Keep the good advice. Let people laugh. You need to understand. These are the ones that feel small on the inside. The ones that choose not to grow as a human being. And want you to feel and be the same. And drag you down to where they are. You are not a part of them. You have dreams that you want to fulfill. The ones that have reached heights with hard work and earned success will never laugh at you or shame you because they will understand your journey. So let the stupid be stupid. Let it be their business to figure out why they're so silly. You, you focus on getting out of that bubble and living your life. Don't miss out on anything that life has in store for you. We get only one life. And we are blessed and lucky enough to be alive and ticking. We, adults, as parents, we throw our anxieties and stress on our kids, forcing them into a bubble of protection, weighing them down with our expectations. Let us understand them more. But before that, we need to understand ourselves and the reason why we shut ourselves in that bubble. We need to change the way we live, change the way we see life, learn to handle our emotions in a better way, take some me time out for ourselves every day, just a little bit, get ourselves disciplined, portray the right and the best possible version of ourselves to our kids, come out of our own bubbles, before we end up forcing our kids into one. Show them how beautiful life is by living it to the fullest yourself. Give them the love, the understanding, the patience and the protection that they seek and deserve. Encourage them to seek their dreams so they don't have to or feel the need of building a bubble around them to protect themselves. Let us teach them to love themselves for who they are and that they need not be afraid of the world but embrace all the good things it has in store for them while facing and ignoring all the unimportant and difficult things and people that come their way. Let us teach them to love themselves for who they are and that they need not be afraid of the world, but embrace all of the good things it has in store for them. 
while facing and ignoring all the unimportant things and people that would come in their way to inhibit their growth. Go ahead, burst your bubbles, rid yourselves of the mental SCID. Be grateful for the life you have been given. Live your lives as you are destined to. Be fearless, be free.